24th and 25th. Um, I felt like having a session street moment, but it'd be like letter is brought to you by or the number is brought to you by. So I felt like having a session street moment. But in this season, um, Pastor D is talking about relationships. So this particular scripture simply is about relationships. And um, earlier on Tuesday, I talked about who are the niches in your circle. A niche is something that is suitable or comfortable for employment of place or person. So that means that God would give you a person or a position, placement, that may be suitable or comfortable. That means it may not always be comfortable, but it may be suitable for the next level. And so in this scripture, it's when I said, who are the niches in your circle? Jesus had three different circles. He had a circle of 12, he had a circle of eight, and he had a circle of three. 12 was his disciples, eight was his close friends, three were those who saw him in the most intimate and vulnerable moment. Who are the niches in your circle? Proverbs 10, 24, and 25 talks about um, coming together to motivate in a place of action and love. But it then goes back in 25 and says, do not forsake the assembly of the brethren. Do not forsake the fact that you need a circle of people who are going to surround you and encourage you, especially in these days and ages. That's what it says in this day and age when the sun is coming back. So in this day and age, God is saying, do not forsake your circle, whether it be a 12 or 8 or a 3. Make sure that you have a circle and make sure you know what their niches are in your life. Meaning, what are their positions? So many times I see people at the end of the year saying, I'm cleaning out my circle, I'm cleaning out this, that, and the other. And I'm thinking, why you didn't do that in the beginning? In the first of the year. Because if you truly knew who was in your circle, you would have gave them the right placement or position because it would have been suitable not comfortable all the time and so many times we get rid of the people who are not comfortable for us but they're suitable for where we're going Jesus never got rid of Judas and he knew who was going to betray him had there not been a Judas we wouldn't have salvation so sometimes everybody may not be comfortable for your circle but they may be suitable for where you're going so that is my motivation Praise God.